Yo, what is up guys, Charlie Pangas here. Happy Monday, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick design tip video. I decided to actually do this every single Monday, so I hope you guys enjoy the new format. And tomorrow we have a tutorial Tuesday, so there's a lot going on in this channel. I hope you guys are excited about that. Make sure you guys turn on notifications and subscribe if you aren't already, so you don't miss another video. So today I'm actually going over the best document settings for t-shirt designing using Photoshop and Illustrator. So we're going over both programs. Let's get it started. Before you even design, I recommend you actually measure out your design on a shirt to figure out exactly what size you want that design. That way when you design it and print it later on, you're not guessing what it's gonna look like on a shirt. You already know because you actually measured it out on the shirt. So um, take a tape measure, measure it out on the shirt and figure out exactly what size you want that design. I'll give you guys a quick example. For my Street Dweller brand, I actually took a tape measure and I measured out exactly how wide I wanted the design. I didn't really care too much about the height. So what I did is I measured it out and I decided 11 inches wide so I knew exactly how wide I wanted my design before getting into the print process. Another thing that's really important to note is that you should never upscale a design, right? You always want to downscale. So it's good to create a document size that's a little larger than the actual shirt design. That way, if you need to, you can downscale a little bit and your print shop has a little bit more flexibility. Now that that important information is out of the way, we're going to go ahead and open up Photoshop, which I already opened up. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I create a t-shirt design document. I'm using the latest version of Photoshop and Illustrator. Illustrator. So if yours is a little outdated, it's definitely important to update it and keep it current so you have all the um, functionality that I have. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and hit this big create new button or we can go up to file new and do it that way or we can do command N on our keyboard and that's going to pull up a new document window. As soon as you see this new document window pop up, we want to go ahead and look over to the right side. You're going to see something called pixels. You want to go ahead and click that and you want to drop down to inches and what this is going to do is it's going to speak our language now. Right now we're working with inches. It's a little bit more familiar to work with. So um, from here, what I want to do is uh, make a document that's 14 inches wide and let's go and do 16 inches um, on the height. And we want to make sure the resolution is set at 300. The easiest way to remember this is when you're printing, set it at 300. When you're not printing, keep it at 72 resolution. You're good to go. So mine is at 300 resolution. And for the color mode, I always use RGB. A lot of screen printers actually want you to use RGB. It's important to actually talk to your screen printer though before you start designing. That way you can figure out exactly what they want. Under the background constants, you're going to see white. Now we can actually go to the right hand side where the white is and we can click on that white box. I find that it's really helpful to change this color to whatever your garment color is. So if your garment color is gray, you change it to gray. If it's black, you change it to black. That way when you're designing, you have the appropriate background color. And when you put your design on the shirt, it's going to look great every time. So it's important to actually change that right there. Let's go and say we have a gray shirt. Click OK. Once you select that color, you can hit this big blue create button. Really easy to find. You hit that and it's going to create your new document. Now we're in Illustrator and we can do the same exact thing we did in Photoshop. We can hit this big create new button. So go ahead and click that real quick. And then from here, we can actually change the inches again. We can do 14 inches wide if we wanted to, and we can do 16 inches on the height. We don't have to copy the document settings though, because keep in mind, we are working with a vector program now, and we're not working with a raster program, which is what Photoshop is. So if we wanted to, we can actually go four inches by four inches or even two inches by two inches. So I designed four inches by four inches simply because it's easier on my computer's uh, CPU. And then later, Later on, I just resize it to the appropriate size that I want and I'm good to go. And like I said, it's not going to lose quality by upscale since I am working with vector. So I would just save it as like an EPS or an AI file and I'm good to go. So that is actually the exact document settings that I use. I hope they help you guys out. If they did today, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about the video. And if you guys are digging these quick design tips, let me know as well. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. My clothing brand is doing very well and I have some really good news coming up. So stay tuned guys. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.